okay in this chapter we are going to see how to create an inquiry in the system inquiry hands-on so where do we start so step number one go to transaction v a 11 how do you do that you just go here and type in v a 11 that's the transaction code to create an inquiry you can just hit enter or click on this green check mark if you don't like to remember these funky codes you can still do logistics sales and distribution sales inquiry and create so you can do this transaction either way use the transaction code v11 or you go here to logistics sales and distribution sales inquiry then create so let's take a quick screenshot here and go paste it here so you can use v11 or use the menu path logistics sales and distribution sales inquiry and create so that was step number one so step number two is to go inside by either double clicking it remember or typing in v11 here and hitting enter if you double click it you'll be taken to the screen this is the first screen when you create an inquiry what do you have here you have two main pieces of data this is called as the inquiry type and when you go create a quotation it's going to say quotation type I don't want to fully get into the concept of actually creating a, an inquiry type or configuring an inquiry type yet but for now I just want to understand that there are two pieces to start with if you want to give me an example you go to a subway and order some sandwiches you're going to start with some basic choices like is it going to be a six inch or a foot long right you're going to make some basic choices and then further move up from there so similarly this is the first choice that you got to make what is the inquiry type that you're going to create there can be multiple inquiries inquiries for a certain group of products from another group of products for example uh, a company like HP could be doing one inquiry type for all parts meaning spare parts another inquiry type for uh, say capital goods another inquiry type for say uh, routers because they might represent really different lines of businesses and each inquiry is really different for them so they might want to do a different inquiry type for each of that similarly there is something called as org data this really is more or less uh, the areas or the geographical areas in which they are doing business that's a very gross misrepresentation uh, but for now just think of org data as uh, your different geographies like again if you take the HP example uh, the org data for sales happening in the US is going to be US 
uh, organization distribution channel let's say retail and division uh, part sales and if they are creating uh, an inquiry in say Singapore it's going to be sales org Singapore it could be retail or wholesale distribution channel and say capital goods division now I'm just taking too many examples here but don't worry we're gonna talk about all these things in much greater detail at a later point I just want to give you an idea of what's an inquiry type and what's your org data and more importantly why you're filling them here because this is gonna set the precedent for what you're gonna enter going forward let me give you one simple example you don't want to really choose the org data for US and when you go inside this enter a customer from the Singapore or Japanese region right it's just wrong so you're making a choice here and you'll stick to those choices going forward as you enter customer data and material data all right so that's that so go here click on this drop down and select IN as your inquiry like I said you can create your own inquiry types but we're not there yet for now we'll select the standard inquiry type provided by SAP click OK and over here select your sales org distribution channel and division now what are these 1000 10 0 0 1000 represents the German sales org 10 represents a uh, retail distribution channel and 00, zero represents a cross division so why is thousand representing Germany yeah we'll come to that when we come to uh, enterprise structure but until then just select this level of details let's take a screenshot again here and hit enter so let's go back to our notes and enter the picture here so what are we doing here enter the inquiry type and org data and hit enter so next we're going to move on to step three what is step three so here we have a very big screen staring at us but don't be scared you don't really need to fill in all these fields it's no big deal you enter some details and the rest of the details are automatically be picked up by SAP based on the data that's already available for example you want to pick a customer right in this case Walmart is our customer now we might not have created Walmart yet in the system because we don't know how to create a customer yet but let's just pick some customer for now say 1000 that's a customer now again why 1000 I just picked up a number because I know it exists if you don't know a number you can go here and click on this button and it will pop up a search box where you can do a variety of searches by postal code by city by name let's see if there is anything like Walmart so I do a star which is a wild character and then do Walmart and then star so anything that has Walmart in its name click OK okay there's no Walmart don't worry we're gonna create Walmart when we come to the customer master section all right so this is where you you do your search and uh, you select what kind of customer you want and so on all right so I close this box and I know that a customer by number 1000 exists and I'm gonna click OK or hit the green button and it's giving me another pop-up now it says this customer has multiple ship to parties 
That means there are many ship to addresses that the customer uh, could potentially ask us to ship. Which one do you want to select? You can either select the default one which has this check mark in there or you can select the other one. Now you can just let it remain and click OK. Right? In which case it has already pulled up the customer name, customer address and other details for the customer corresponding to the number 1000. What's the name of the customer? It's Becker Berlin and he stays at Calvin Stresse, some address and then Berlin. That's the address. Right? So let's take a screenshot here and this is what we are going to enter at the header level. All right. Step three is enter header data. What's there in the header? We are just entering the customer number. Okay, in this case, 1000. And maybe purchase order number. We'll enter some text. Maybe C, one, two, three, whatever, right? So let's take that screenshot, put it here. All right. So that's step three. And step number four is we're going to continue with step four is we're going to continue entering the line item level data. So if you think of it, this is saying who the customer is, like Walmart or whatever. The example that we have taken is Walmart. So this is where you enter your Walmart. And this is where, in these lines, is where you enter the products that he wants, like, you know, desktop, laptop, or any other products. Now in this case, we don't have desktops or laptops set in the system yet. So I know some materials, so I'm going to enter them here. So the material is going to be M-01. I enter a quantity of 1 and hit enter. Now M-01 is a code for a material with a description sunny sunny. You know, I don't care. I could, when it's time, we'll create our own materials, our own customers. For now, we're just going to enter a material that already exists in a standard SAP test system. And then you can enter more materials, M02, M03, M04, blah, blah, blah. Right? And then I said we're going to enter a PO number. So PO ABC123. Hit enter. As soon as you hit enter, the system validates things. If there is an error, for example, uh, say if you enter some wrong data, say if you enter a material G, 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 B, 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 G, 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 some random number which doesn't exist and I'm hitting enter. See, as soon as you hit enter, the system is going to look at the database behind the scenes and say, hey, this material is not defined. So what are you trying to do? Right? So enter is the signal for the you know interface to go contact the server and then make sure that you're not entering wrong data. In this case, it's a wrong material, so it's pushing out a warning that says that material does not exist. Okay, now we are done with this stuff, so let's take another screenshot and uh, Test it over our stuff. So enter line item level details. This is where you enter your materials, quantities, prices, whatnot. Right? The, the details that we have entered here is material number and quantity. Material and quantity all right and then 
that's it I'm done I just click on the save button and you look at the left bottom corner here inquiry one zero 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 blah da 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 six has been saved so this is called an inquiry number and this is the number that we were referring to in our picture as one one zero one one so let me go here so this is the number that we were referring to we said SAP is going to generate a number right I just gave some sample number of one one zero two one one zero one two zero right so in this case SAP has generated this is not really a step it just generates a number and that number is in this case one zero 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 six so this is the number SAP generated inquiry number and this is what we're gonna give to Walmart and say you know what this is the inquiry that we have created from HP thank you very much for your inquiry all right so that's how we have created an inquiry let's summarize all the steps that we have done here so we are trying to do hands-on an inquiry we can either go to VA11 and this is called as a transaction code or you can use a menu path you can use logistics sales and distribution sales inquiry and create so that was step number one how to start the transaction called the inquiry Step number two, we have learned what type of data to put in here, like the inquiry type, sum, org data. In this case, I'm putting org data for Germany. 1000 is a German sales org. 3000 is a US sales org. These, are, these areas or sales orgs are generally referred to with a four character alphabetic or alphanumeric ID. Sometimes it's alphabetic, sometimes it's numeric, sometimes it's alphanumeric. It's really a customer's choice. The third step is you enter some header data. Don't worry about the term header data because we're gonna really talk about you know, what really is behind the header of a sales order or an inquiry. All the different fields, their functional significance and so on and, and in a later chapter. And step number four, is we enter some line item level details like the materials and quantities and then it automatically pulls up the descriptions prices whatnot and as soon as you hit save just like the way you save a word document and it generates a or asks you for a name right in case of word it it asks you for a name but in case of a SAP document typically these are all internally generated so it's just a sequence of numbers one zero 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 five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve the more inquiries you create the list goes on and on and on so in the next chapter we're gonna create a quotation for the same data